Okay, let me talk about Saharan dust. I want to look out in the uh, tropical Atlantic. There's the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Atlantic. And right now, it's all pretty quiet. I mean, we started off the hurricane season pretty darn busy. Uh, things have quieted down right now. And one of the reasons that it's quieted down right now is because of this. The Saharan dust that has just moved in from, of course, the Sahara Desert. When that takes place, 5,000 miles from the Sahara Desert to the state of Texas, okay? And the trade winds, it's just all delivered and transported on the trade winds. The dust moves across the Atlantic, it moves into Texas, and it can reduce our tropical or hurricane uh, development in the tropical Atlantic. That's taking place, and that's actually happening right now. That drier air, what, what does a thunderstorm have to have? So these thunderstorms, these tropical systems begin just as a cluster of thunderstorms, but if they have a lot of dry air in them, they just can't develop or just they just shut down. So right now in North Texas, what all the Saharan dust means for us is we'll see some hazy skies, maybe some more colorful sunrises or some more colorful sunsets. That's about the only thing that it's going to do for us here. But take a look at this. That was in effect today. The heat advisory stays in effect through at least eight o'clock tomorrow. And it may go into the day on uh, Wednesday as well before a cold front moves in late in the day. All quiet right now. There's noon on Wednesday. Here comes a cold front as that drops to the south. It crosses the Red River late in the day on Wednesday. A scattering of rain develops, maybe a straight. We're dry tomorrow, dry and hot tomorrow. Take a look at that. Dry and hot tomorrow. Then a little bit of rain in our forecast on Wednesday. 10% coverage, 40% coverage, 30, 20% coverage Friday and Saturday, and 40% coverage on Sunday. Cold front drops to the south of us, and that will certainly cool us down. Not a major cool down, but we're going to go from lower 100s to middle to lower 90s and I even have an 89 for a high temp in my 14 day forecast. So tonight's warm and muggy 80 for the low tonight. Tomorrow we hit 101. We hit 100 today. 101 tomorrow. Thank goodness the roof. There's a roof out at the ballpark now. Heat advisory tomorrow. Still triple digits on Wednesday. A little bit of rain after that and some cooler temps. Look at Monday. Day seven of the 14 day forecast, 89. That's the high then. And here's the final seven of the 14 days. We have 90s in the forecast, but it's lower to middle 90s. So the triple digits after the next two days, the triple digits are gone. Uh, upper 80s, lower to middle 90s are in the forecast. And Joe, as we head toward the, this is the second half of July, that's an amazing forecast.